Hello, I am going to do uh, an all the way through get ready with me today, no editing, we're just going to chat. I have, um, I don't know if I showed you this in a different video, but this, you can get these from all over, I got one from Amazon for Ella, um, is that the right sentence? Yeah, from Amazon, from Amazon for Ella, I was like, I didn't sound right. Uh, and then I saw this in Aldi a few weeks ago um, and got one for myself because it's just so useful. So I pull it all, I'm sure you've seen this before, you pull it all out, you've got all your stuff in it, and then once you finish, you just like draw string it all back together. So, so useful. It just means that I can bring all my makeup everywhere. I like flatten it all out. I don't get it a mess. It's fantastic. Um, so the most of the reason that I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you some of the products that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Um, and I want to show you them actually properly in action. Now, I'm thinking, do I have stuff on my skin right now? Did I wash my face this morning? That's the question. Not feeling 100% today. Um, I just started the vlog and was just like, wow, you're a real downer today. You are not fun. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to put some makeup on and um, perk up a little bit. I thought this would make all the difference. So this is an abnormal amount of product, I realise, but it's a BB SPF from number seven. It's the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced BB Facial Sun Protection. Um, and so as I understand it, when you have a product with SPF 50 in it, well, any SPF, um, and people say it's diluted and it's not as effective as if you just had an SPF. Um, it's the amount that you use. So I try to use the same amount that I would use if I was putting it on my face and it was just an SPF. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying that. Now, on top of this, I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, also SPF 50. This shade is too dark. My makeup at the moment has just been too dark and I'm just leaning into it. I'm leaning into like a summer makeup look when I've definitely still got a winter complexion. So yeah, it's quite orange. It's quite dark. It's just definitely all round too deep for me, but I'm styling out and hopefully making it work. The only issue with this today is that I've got my arms out. So you'll be able to tell immediately like something's wrong with her face. I might have to put on a different top just so it's not quite as obvious that this does not match my skin. I also want to bring it down my neck, but I don't want to get it on my top. Isn't that always the problem? It is. Um, I don't wear any concealer. I mean, this is basically two base products already, but concealer is not my friend at the moment. Um, with the tretinoin, I'm often flaky. This all feels very shiny right now, I realise. Ooh, also there is something that I'm going to show you, but we're going to have to go downstairs for that. Um, yeah, I'm very shiny with this situation at the moment, but that is intentional because with the tretinoin, I've been very flaky. Even with all the stuff I'm using, I may have to actually reduce the percentage of tretinoin in my skin and me because it has been abnormally dry, my skin. even when I'm using it exactly as I should be and I am not using any other active things, just using really gentle stuff. It's still, my skin has been quite dry. Right, this I'm obsessed with. Did I talk to you about this in my most recent favourite products? I can't remember. This is a number seven lip and cheek tint and I have been wearing this like more than I should, like literally too much of it on my face. It's the Lip and Cheek Tint in Dusk Pink. Looks like this. Will it focus? That is the question. And can I do my makeup while I'm holding it up? Probably not. Um, this colour particularly, I think, really works. I know some of you won't agree, but it really works as like a, a bronze blush. I think maybe more so because it's still wintry. But I just, I love the colour so much. It adds something um, depth wise without me having to do anything else. I will still do kind of something a little bit highlighter, but I'm not gonna do any kind of bronzer or anything. Um, what else, what else? I will curl my eyelashes because that's a thing I've been doing recently. Um, so I was talking about, I just uh, posted a little kind of clippity clip vlog, not a proper vlog, but just like a chatty talking vlog um, where I kind of touched again on what we were talking about last week about that like if you saw my 
get ready with me when we were talking um self-improvement versus self-acceptance i was talking about that again because with me feeling a bit blah today i find that when i'm feeling a bit blah i can really lean into that blahness um, under the guise of self-acceptance and self-care and just give myself a little bit of time. I'm using just a, a, a this, this colour. Um, and because my skin is so sticky still from all of these products, I can almost make it into a cream shadow. It will definitely grease. One billion percent. But here's the thing about YouTube makeup. It doesn't actually have to last. I'm putting on some makeup, I'm going to vlog a little bit today, I'm going to film some stuff, but I'm not going anywhere special, I'll probably go to Lidl to do the shopping, that's it. When people tell you on YouTube, this, this makeup is amazing, this is whatever, you have to remember, what looks good on camera, number one might not look good in real life, but also, it doesn't have to last, it just has to last the video, and they could be retouching it in between shots it's you know sometimes it's a lie sometimes it is a lie i have watched videos and watched people put makeup on and thought that amount of makeup is not going to look nice like you step outside and that's going to look terrible so how did we even get onto that subject who knows but yeah i've been definitely um leaning into the more give myself a break and i don't need that i need especially with the, the lights the lights, the nights are getting lighter, the days are getting brighter. It's all good stuff that is about to be happening. And I need to snap myself out of this. This is the hourglass that I talked about before. Snap myself out of this like lull. Um, and get back into my old self. I'm just so, I know everyone's feeling like this right now, but isn't it just boring? I'm just, bored of myself truthfully i want to feel peppy and awake and energized and enthusiastic about things and i don't but i wanna um i am gonna talk to you uh in a few days about some products because someone dm'd me the other day and said um that nadine bagger i couldn't find the nadine bagger i think it was her that she said but i couldn't find the video that she was referencing she said that she did a video where she talked about products that she'd bought more than five times. And I was like, oh, that is interesting. I've definitely done repurchase product videos before, but more than five times is tricky. I don't know if I've done that. There's not that many products, definitely not that many makeup products. It would be difficult for me to have gone through five products or something, um, purely because, not even because I don't like them, but because I'm always, or at least I was, always looking for something new to tell you guys about. More so now, I am more in the time of um, life where I would repurchase things because I'm enjoying them because I decided to change the way that I was doing things in, with makeup and YouTube. But especially for like for the past decade, I definitely have tried not to tie myself to one particular thing because I want to find new things to recommend all the time. So for me to have repurchased something five times is major. So I'm excited about doing that. See, that's... I'm excited, I'm motivated to do that. I just have definitely lost a spark. For sure. But I feel like I'm on the precipice of it coming back. Right, where, oh there it is. So I use this really old, terrible, miniature beauty blender. I know, horrific. This is how I do my um, powder at the moment. This is fantastic. This is the Innisfree No Seed Mineral, Mineral Pat. Um, it is a mattifying powder, but I just kind of use the sponge to put it on the areas that need it the most. Obvs. And then I don't put powder anywhere else really. Um, but then I use my setting spray, which we'll go downstairs to use because it's downstairs. Because some I, have, I still haven't brought it upstairs. Why? Why may you ask? I don't know. So I am a little bit deeper than I am naturally. It's not totally, totally crazy, but I am a little bit deeper. But this is my day to day. Throw it on makeup. I don't feel like I'm wearing tons and tons of makeup. 
I feel really good in terms of SPF coverage. Um, so especially with it getting warmer, but for me, I have to wear SPF every day because of the skincare I'm using at night, but also we should all be using SPF every day. I'm not judging. I am the world's worst. I, it would be very hypocritical of me to be like, I can't believe you don't wear SPF every day because for many, many years I didn't. And still sometimes I don't wear it every day. I should, I know, but let's be real. There are days when I just, I'm like, ugh, I'm literally not leaving the house. I'm not going to put this on. But it is one of the top things that you can do in terms of anti-aging. Prevention is cheaper than the cure and all that. Right, let's go downstairs. Okay, two last products. Um, one of them I couldn't find, so I'm going to use this instead. It was the number seven. It's like a tinted balm. Really, really nice. And I've been wearing it a lot recently, which probably is why I can't find it. But first, it's this. Um, I've got the entire collection of this that was actually sent to me from L'Oreal. Um, and usually I'll pick things out and be like, mm, I'm interested in this, I'm not interested in this. This, I was literally out the door. I'll, I'll throw this on. I'm just going to go and do the school and see what this is like. It says long lasting setting spray, all day matte finish. I think we're going to have a whole video on this, truth be told, because it is really fantastic. It's a really fine mist, number one, which is difficult to find, especially at uh, drugstore prices. So, I mean, I obviously love my continuous setting mist from Morphe, but this is becoming a close second because it gives me that same kind of sinking into the skin feeling. A really nice mist anyway. Um, a lot of products to be fair, and it is mattifying. It's not gonna make you look kind of flat, but it definitely doesn't allow me to get to that oily stage that I would if I wasn't wearing it. It really, really is quite impressive. So I'm gonna do a video on this. Look out for it soon because those of you who are oily, especially coming up to summertime, you're gonna want this. One tiny little thing I would say is I think it has attributed to, do I mean that? Attributed? Do I, that's not the word, is it? I think it has like not helped the dry skin situation because there was only one thing I've ever found um, to help with oil and that was a powder that you put on before your makeup. It's like a powder primer from Gosh, really fantastic. But I couldn't use it every day because my skin would become almost scaly dry. Um, so I've been wearing that maybe like, mm, I maybe used it about five times in the past week and a half. Um, and I don't think it can be doing anything good for my skin. So I can't tell you for sure, but I think it probably is adding to the dryness. Um, then the last thing I'm going to put on my face is this. It's the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint Balm in Bare Raspberry. Closest thing that I could find to number seven. It is obviously a more expensive option but also a tinted balm and a really nice spring summer throw it on feel like you're still actually hydrating your lips because i just felt i mean maybe i'm just dehydrated i drink a lot of water um but maybe i'm just dehydrated because everything feels dry it's not great but that's my this is my like day-to-day -day actual what i'm wearing makeup let's go out into the sunshine probably doesn't look as good as it does in studio lights and i'm sure i've got uh, a demarcation <laughs> Uh, because it's so much deeper than my actual skin but um it definitely feels natural and it feels very light on the skin although it's a quite a, a good amount of coverage for what i usually wear but yeah uh hopefully that was interesting i will try to remember to link everything for you below but this is my absolute this is everything that's in my makeup bag if i'm putting on my makeup this is what i'm wearing at the moment different iterations in terms of eyes um but everything else is this is this is it and I'm loving it and it's very flattering and uh, really easy not pilling up and being difficult you know nobody needs that right now mm -hmm.